Guys, I was just um, fixing some Super Nintendo cartridges, and uh, I bought this uh, this Repro cartridge, uh, Super Metroid Zero Mission, at um, Portland Retro Gaming uh, Expo uh, last year, and uh, I played it. It's pretty cool, um, and I, I decided to pull the thing apart quick to see what was inside. And uh, the first thing that's interesting is there there weren't real screws used. These are just little plastic things that look like screws, and this is a snap together case, so you just unsnap it on the sides. And then I went to look at the board. I was thinking, well, what donor board did they use, or how did they build this? And this is really interesting to me. This is cool. Um, here's the board. It's got, um, first, it looks like a TSOP 40 uh, ROM on it. Um, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really read that up close, but that's just what I thought it was, uh, something like that. Um, kind of package it looks like and uh, this board's really interesting because it's got the um, it's got both spots for a high and a low um, on both that and sorry I don't have the focus up here really close and whatever uh, this chip is right here um, but yeah it's a brand new board super compact uh, little battery holder uh, in the corner and um, so just swap out your uh, swap out your battery instead of desoldering in the future um, oh, what a cool package. I'm, I'm honestly really impressed by this. Um, why can't we... Why, why aren't these just directly sold? I see a lot of adapters and things, but like this is just such a, such a neat little way to um, put a ROM onto a board here. So, anyway, I thought this was interesting. Um, let's see if we can read that chip number. My phone there. has a light. Yeah, my son's phone has a light. Yeah. I'll have to look and see what chip that is. Um, not 100% positive, it's TZAP 40, like I said, I haven't really counted or anything like that or looked at it, just, that was, that's just what it reminded me of. But, um, yeah, anyway, I thought you might want to see this. Um, perhaps this is the 64, uh, mm -hmm. Meg chip. So, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Not sure who makes these or if we can buy them, but this is definitely a professional repro cartridge so pretty cool